welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm your entrepreneurship tutor, Professor Henry Buisa of Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology in Kenya. I'm addressing students of Human Resource Management, HRM, and I'm talking about the SRC, the Salaries and Remuneration Commission, whose motto is rewarding productivity. So watch the video and advise the Salaries and Remuneration Commission, the SRC, appropriately. Now, but let's start by listening to this member of parliament. If you want to know public servants are suffering in this country, tomorrow in the morning, go to Uru Park. You see the working public servants work. They cannot afford fare. Majority of these people, the house allowance paid for them. They cannot stay near a town here. They must stay in Kayole. You can't afford a bus from Kayole to your area of work in town or community. You walk in the morning. This is how the government is losing. If you walk from Kayole, you have to wake up at 5 so that you are in your office at 8. With all the risks in this road from Kayole to town, you'll bear it because you want to protect your job. On reaching community, you are tired. With an empty stomach, you have to take uh, a glass of water. You need another one or two hours to rest and recover before you start working. Who is losing? The government. And now, let's listen to the governor of Nairobi County, who was addressing, among others, the President of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. William Ruto. They don't walk because they like it. They walk because they cannot afford the transport charges that we have in the city. In many other countries, you have... And so, very early at 5 a.m., you'll find thousands of people coming down from Kibera, from different parts of the city, because they have no choice. Here is the reality. People walking to work. Yes, when people walk to work, they may get work late. The late minutes, though few, will add up over time. Those who do not get to work late may get to work tired. They may take a few minutes to settle. Those minutes, though few, will also add up. In the end, there is loss of productivity, and employees are paid for time not worked. Billions of shillings are lost. Yet the SRC motto is to reward productivity. Now, let's take a casual look at the civil servants' basic information in Kenya. The SRC has categorized job groups of civil servants from B1 as the lowest to A4. The inverted pyramid says that we have more employees at B1 than at E4. How about their salaries? Yes, at B1, 14,000 Kenya shillings per month or approximately 60 shillings per hour. At C, 50,000 Kenya shillings per month or approximately 200 Kenya shillings per hour. And at E for the highest, 500,000 plus per month or approximately 2,000 per hour. Now, that data was gotten from that source. How about the population? We are now here using rule of thumb, span of control principle, and applying it to the 700,000 civil servants. That would mean that approximately 500,000 civil servants work at that level, B1, the lowest. Then we have 175,000 at C and 30,000 at E4. Now, 
let us assume workers are late six minutes daily due to working. If one work, only one worker at B1 category gets late six minutes daily in a week, that will one amount to 30 minutes or 30 shillings paid for no work done. In one month, it will amount to 120 minutes, two hours, or 120 Kenya shillings paid for no work. In a whole year, it will be 14, 40 minutes, 24 hours, not worked, and 1440, 1440 Kenya shillings paid for no work done. Now, if we take 300,000 workers, remember at this level, there are 500,000 plus. Let's just use 300,000 workers. One week, six minutes late daily, works up at 150,000 hours or 9 million Kenya shillings paid for no work done. In one month, 600,000 hours or 36 million sh shillings paid for no work. In one year, 300,000 days lost, or 432 million Kenya shillings paid for no work. The government has lost that. Now, the same SRC recommends a salary of 15,000 a month for ECD teachers. Now, with 432 million, the country could employ 2,400 ECT teachers and boost the CBC program. Now, as a student of human resource management, what would you advise the SRC? If you enjoyed it, please like it, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.